A Jewish man became a man when he was 12 years of age. So at 12 years of age, Jesus went to the Passover for the first time. We may well imagine how the holy city, the temple, and the sacred ritual fascinated him. When his parents were returning home, Jesus lingered behind. It was not through carelessness that they did not miss him. Usually the women started out much earlier than the men because they traveled more slowly. The men started later and traveled faster. The women and men would not meet each other until they arrived at the evening encampment. It was Jesus' first Passover. No doubt Joseph thought he was with Mary, and Mary thought he was with Joseph. Not until they met again at the evening camp did they miss him. Mary and Joseph returned to Jerusalem to search for him and found Jesus listening to the discussion of the Sanhedrin, who were discussing in the temple court in the presence of all who would listen. Jesus was listening to the discussions and eagerly searching for knowledge like an avid student. Mary said to him, Child, why did you do this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you, and we have been very worried. Jesus replied, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I was bound to be in my father's house? See how gently, but very definitely, Jesus takes the name Father from Joseph and gives it to God. As the years went on, he must have had thoughts. And then at, his, at this first Passover, when manhood dawning, there came a sudden blaze of realization and consciousness that he was in a unique sense the Son of God. Jesus discovered who he was. The discovery did not make him proud. It did not make him look down on his humble parents. He was obedient to them. The fact that he was God's son made him the perfect son of his human parents.